was Nicolas, Freddy K, Filmer, Chris Ludy and me, and we went to Laugenalp and they just got a ton of snow, so we spent a couple of days there and the boys were shooting a lot of follow cam for fruition. The storm rolled in and we were like, it was blue in the morning, there's so much power, we were like tripping almost. But uh, we had some locals showing us around and uh, once the storm rolled in it was really wide out and they were like, hey, we have this, this cave you can ride through and we were like, Wow, that sounds good. Once we got there, we were like, oh wow, this is really special. And we got really excited. Um, there was only one take because once we rode through it, we would almost have to hike around the whole mountain again. We set up and uh, Freddy went first and I followed him. And yeah, too bad Freddy's already gone, but he's part of the cover. <laughs> He laid the track for me to do, to do the stale fish, so. As far as the photography goes, there was pretty much only one angle to choose from for me. The only thing that was kind of a challenge was the choice of lens, because it was hard to estimate how big the whole shoot is gonna be, and therefore how big or small the ride is gonna be in the frame. But I decided to go for a, a 50 mil, just just to show the whole thing, the beauty of the whole thing. To get a cover on Transworld, I think it's like the highest reward. I think print is so important, it's, it's timeless, you can hold it in your hand, there's no battery involved, and um, otherwise we would be on Instagram even more. A big respect to Transworld for keeping print alive for the past 30 years. I'm, I wasn't even born 30 years ago, so... Um, and now having the cover and wrapping up their 30th season of print is a very special feeling for sure.